Phil, a 3-1 win today against Wheelston. You must be delighted with that. Yeah, it's always difficult after a high-profile cup game like we had on Tuesday. It's, you know, for a number of factors, the kind of adrenaline and, and the emotion of, of that night and, and the physical demands on the team, um, which makes today so important for us. Um, Wilston, a good side. They're, they're up and around it. We all, we all know that. They're fresh, um, which, which can make a difference. But I thought the lads were great today. I thought first half, we tried to do what we set out to implement, or implement what we set out to do, but probably were a little bit frantic in, the, in a bit of our decision making. Uh, but second half, I thought we were superb, and um, you know it's a, an important win. It's great for the two lads coming off the bench and scoring as well. I said at the start of this February that the squad is going to be utilised um, because it's unrealistic for the same players to play um, all the time, and it's shown again today um, the value of having a strong bench. We saw it on Tuesday night with the squad changing again and a really brilliant performance putting at Sheffield United and again today, subs coming off the bench and both of them, uh, Sam Dolby and Jacob Mendy, getting goals. Yeah, pleased for Jacob. There was no way I was going to start Jacob today because obviously he's on his way back from an injury. Um, but unfortunately Callum's groin was, was sore at half-time and, and we had to bring him off. So 45 minutes for, for Jacob is, is actually a good progression for him in, in, on his return back. Um, but yeah, it's a fantastic goal for him. And Sam also, you know, we brought him off Tuesday because he had a bit of tightness in his hamstring, but he passed his fitness test and um, great contribution just to seal the deal. For someone like Sam, who obviously is, is learning alongside Mullen and Palmer, um, who, who have been starting the team for a while, how important is it for him to then make, it, make his mark in these sort of scenarios? Well, it's not the first time he's made his mark. He's, he's done it quite, quite, quite a lot, but yeah, no, he's... It was good, you know, it was a great header around the corner to, to JJ. JJ hit the target and Sam's followed in, um, you know, terrifically well. So, yeah, it just killed the, killed the game off for us and, um, you know, they had a man sent off and it was a bit feisty in that first half. There was a lot of yellows. I thought the ref probably went with his yellows too early in the game. Um, and I said to him at half time, you, you give yourself a problem when you do that. Um, and I just said to the lads at half time, make sure we keep 11 on the pitch. That, that's so important. We've got to be right up for the game and we've got to be competitive but with a cool kind of calculated mindset and um, I think in the main we did that. You mentioned it before but how important was it coming off to such an emotional uh, cup tie on Tuesday against Sheffield United that they remained focused and professional throughout yeah. the... Listen, you know, in my own personal career as a manager I've had a lot of cup ties and I know how difficult the next game is. Uh, I just know and it's for, for those, those reasons I spoke about um, earlier, you know, the replay you know, it was a great occasion and we quit ourselves well, but obviously it was the game we didn't want. We wanted to get through in, in, in the first game. Um, so, it, yeah, it obviously detracts, can detract from today. But if you look at the three games now, Bromley, Altrincham today, after those high profile cup games, we've got nine points and that's enormous credit to the players. You mentioned Callum McFadden coming off at half time. Tom O'Connor did as well. What's his condition like? Yeah, Tommy, um, he had a bit of a tight hamstring as well. I don't think it was serious, a um, bit of a strange one, but you know, we've no need to take risks, and I think that's key. Um, we've got good players, Maxi's come on second half and done great, so we had no need to take a risk with, with those two. <clears throat> and today, another victory at the race course, and back here again on Tuesday against another side vying for promotion as well. Yeah, let's, you know, we'll enjoy tonight, and uh, then preparation, as always, starts tomorrow. And uh, yeah, looking forward to it. I thought it was a good atmosphere today. I think, you know, sometimes supporters can come to a game and, and be a bit flat after the, the euphoria or kind of the, the adrenaline of Tuesday, but I thought they made it a great atmosphere today and it, and it helped the lads. You know, when you've got tired legs and, you know, and you're out on the pitch and you've got the level of support we've got, you find that extra bit and I thought we did that in the second half. Thank you, Phil. Congratulations. Thank you.